I have a really bad habit of buying parts and letting them pile up and sit forever on the shelves, in the corner of the shop, inside the van. I mean, I've got parts piled up for the Ranger that you probably won't see for another few months. I've got a set of headers and exhaust for this car that have been waiting around for eight months to be installed ever since I put in the B20. The van, <laughs> I've got a bunch of parts piled in the van that I want to install soon. And when I say soon, that's pretty relative. The worst of it though is two years ago, while in the middle of a cross country road trip, I ordered a new motor for the window in the Xterra because the Xterra window got stuck. So the purpose of today's video is to show you what to do when your window won't roll up. This happened to me in South Dakota on my way back to San Diego and I'm, I was sitting at a gas station and the window wouldn't roll up and I couldn't figure out what to do. And I didn't want to do three more days on the road with the window stuck down. So I asked the Google machine, what do I do? And apparently there's a quick little trick. Let me show you what it looks like. So right now, window won't roll up. But if you move all this crap out of the way here and you find yourself a blunt object, if you just tap there while lifting up on the handle, it'll get the motor to wake up and you can close the window. That's a temporary fix. I actually have a new part on the way. I just ordered it on Amazon and it should be here tomorrow. And I'll be posting a video on how to replace that so you don't have to use this to get the window to work. Stay tuned for more. We'll see you guys next time. After about a year, I ended up writing in big letters, install me on the box. And I put that box in plain sight in my office only to ignore it for another year. But finally, exactly two years and two days after ordering said window motor, I installed it. And almost exactly two months later, I'm finally making this video. Anyway, to get started, clean out all the loose items from the door panel. By the way, if you wanna see how I install this really dope Molly panel, click up here or in the link in the description of this video. Using a plastic trim removal tool so you don't scratch stuff, Gently pry up the spots shown here to release the plastic tabs. Someone commented on a previous video that you should start from the bottom, but I haven't broken anything yet. So I don't know, just be gentle. Also, if you're interested in these tools or any of the parts used in this video, I'll post links in the description. Amazon gives me a little kickback whenever you buy stuff using those links, and it really helps out the channel, so thanks in advance. Next, remove the trim piece next to the door lock. Remove the end of the armrest and the window switch cluster. You can either undo the switch connector or these three screws. Connectors hate me. I find it easier to just remove the screws. Remove the piece behind the interior door handle and remove the bolt. Remove the two bolts next to the door pull, and this will free the door panel so you can lift it off. Take a mental or actual picture of how these metal brackets bolt up so you don't make the same mistake I did. I reinstalled both of them upside down when I put the door back together, and I had to take it all apart again to fix it. The last time I took the door apart, I broke the lock mechanism on the handle. We have to remove it anyway, but I'll be replacing it with a fresh handle. I use a screwdriver to gently pry the cable off the handle. These work a lot like brake levers on a bike. Gently peel the insulation liner off the door. Here you can see why I finally got off my butt to do this project. After two years of doing my door bump trick, it stopped working. 
Close the window a few inches to get access to these bolts. I don't know if this would actually happen, but I didn't want to risk it. To avoid your window falling to the bottom of the door and shattering into a million pieces, have a helper hold the top of the glass while you remove the two bottom bolts. Be careful not to drop the bolt inside the door. If you do, one of these telescoping magnetic pickup tools can be very helpful. Can you see it? Yeah. Grab it. Or if your wife has small fingers, that's helpful too. Okay, so you're gonna to wanna to hold it from the bottom. Here, Push the window all the way up to make room to remove and replace the motor. The motor assembly is held on by seven bolts. Navigating the new assembly around the glass can be a little tricky. Okay. This is definitely a two-person job. Can you push all the way up, please? Oh, there you go. That's what's going on in front of it. There you go. Carefully lower the window glass down and attach it to the motor. One of the bolts will be easy to access. You'll need to plug in the electric connector and raise the window slightly to access the other bolt. Double check that the bolts are snug. Test that the window raises and lowers smoothly before putting it all back together. Reinstallation is reverse of disassembly. Start with the insulation. Here is where I messed up putting the brackets back on. I started to put this one upside down too, but I caught myself and fixed it right away. If I had been paying close attention, I should have noticed that the metal and the dents in the liner didn't match up. Reinstall the lock and handle assembly and check to make sure it works. By this point, I was pretty stoked, so I started putting the door panel back together until I realized that the second bolt on the door pull wasn't grabbing onto anything. So I took it all apart again. Like I said, if I had been paying better attention, I would have noticed this. With the bracket correctly installed, I tried putting the door back together again. Success! After that, we were smooth sailing. Reattach the trim piece to the window switch cluster and pop it back into place.
reinstall the armrest, and reassemble the door lock and handle trim. And for the first time in two years, the window operates as it should. The driver's side door lock too. And so now we say bye bye to the naggy cardboard box. I hope you found this video helpful. As always, poise your <laughs> as always poised. As always, post your questions in the comments. Follow me on Instagram at Ray Regno and Stronghold Garage. Like, subscribe, all the things. And thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.